Okay, for this tutorial, you are going to need Photoshop. And what I am using in this demonstration is Adobe Photoshop CS5 Extended. Now, this is part of the Creative Suite 5. Now, some of the procedures I'm going to show you, you can do with earlier versions of, of Photoshop. And so you can just check, it, check out whatever version you have and, uh, and see, if, uh, see if these approaches are, are going to work for you. Uh, otherwise, you're going to have to upgrade to a later version of Photoshop. But anyway, um, you are going to have to have um, a little bit of experience with Photoshop to do this, but uh, not a whole lot. If you follow my directions, you can uh, do uh, uh, remove backgrounds from photos using these very simple approaches without really uh, knowing a whole lot about Photoshop. So don't worry if you um, don't have a lot of experience working in Photoshop. So let's get started. Okay, let's take a look at an example. Here we have a map, and let's say that you would like to bring in some photos of some animals that uh, you have surveyed, and you want to overlay those photos on the map to uh, illustrate the different species that you've been studying. So you would bring in a photo like this. The problem is that the photo not only has the image of the fish, it also has the background to that photo, which uh, doesn't look that great, and it also obscures more of the underlying map. Instead, what you want to do is you want to bring in photos without their backgrounds, as I've done here. How do you do that? Well, that's what I'm going to try to show you in this tutorial. Uh, let's take a look at another example, uh, a simpler example. Uh, here we have a photo of a hand reaching into the sky. And uh, let's say, for example, that you would like to bring in another photo to overlay on top of it, say a photo of a seagull. And again, of course, the problem here is that the background of the seagull, the sky, does not match the sky in the underlying photo. What you instead want to do is to bring in a photo of the seagull without its background so that it looks like it belongs in this photo with the hand reaching into the sky. So how do you do that? To or remove the background to a photo, you can do this in Photoshop. And so here I have a Photoshop open and you'll notice over to the right here uh, this shows the layers that are present in this document. And the first thing you want to do is to go up here to Layer in the menu and select New Layer from Background. Click OK, and that's going to uh, rename your layer over here. And I'll just leave it as a default layer zero. Now this, point, this step is uh, critical. If you forget to do th this, then uh, what I'm going to show you will not work. Also, to uh, use this specific approach, you need a background that is a solid color so that it is all selected at once. Uh, then uh, the next step is to go over here to your tool uh, navigator bar and you're going to select what is known as the magic wand tool. And when you do this, uh, then you're going to take your magic wand tool and click anywhere in the solid background that you wish to uh, extract. Click once and you'll notice that the entire background is now outlined. You can see this dashed line that is uh, uh, set up around uh, all the background. Then all you do is click uh, the delete button on your keyboard and it extracts the background. And you know that it has been removed because then you will see in the background this checkerboard gray and white pattern. If you do not see this checkerboard pattern, then uh, you have not successfully extracted the background and uh, there's something wrong and you need to start all over again. Okay, so uh, now you have uh, the background extracted. You next perhaps want to crop this image and you do that by selecting the, uh, the selection 
marquee tool or the rectangular marquee tool and just outline your photo and then you go to image and crop and now your photo is cropped to a, a good size and now you're ready to save this document and what you want to do is you want to save this as a Photoshop document. Now I've already saved it so I'm not going to do this again but it's important that it's saved as a Photoshop document with uh, an extension of PSD uh, not a JPEG and not anything else but PSD because that's going to retain this image with without a background. Now what we will do is open up the file showing the background photo and it's automatically set as, uh, as the background. And so now you can bring in your photo that the background has been removed and the photo has been cropped to size. And uh, to, to do this, you first want to create a new layer for it here. Uh, go to Layer, New, Layer, and uh, you can rename it um, Seagull, for example. And then you go under File and Place and you search for your photo and there it is right there and you bring it in and it is usually drops it in into the middle of, of the photo you can move it around uh, if you want to resize it what you want to do is hold down the shift key and grab one of the corners of the of the photo and you can decrease or increase the size however however you wish and then when you hit return that places the photo you can still move it around um, and resize it and do whatever you whatever you need to do with it you can have several layers built up and so over here I have added another a copy of the seagull uh, going in a different direction and slightly resized. Now whichever layer is on top is the one that is going to be on uh, the, the topmost layer of the photo and uh, if you want to change that then you just move the position of the layer over here in the uh, layer navigator and you can switch it back and forth. So that's how you set up your layers so that they are positioned um, relative to each other the way you want them. And so that's all there is to it when you have a photo that has a solid background. Next we're going to look at a photo that has a more complicated background because that is a little bit more difficult uh, to handle uh, when you want to extract the background. Well that's the end of part one, showing how to remove backgrounds from images. In the next part of this tutorial I will show how to remove more complicated backgrounds from images.